Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reed and welcome to my Saw My TBR by Link With Me. <laughs> However, do not be full. I've been talking far too long. Where, where's there going to be time for that? Is this the most boring video ever? Yeah. yeah. So if the angle looks a little bit funny, that's because it is. I'm still trying to work out how to work the angles in this bedroom. It is near on impossible. But I'm here to sort my TBR by length. So if you watched my new TBR game, which I'll link down below, TBR MASH, in, that, in my TBR game I have a length category and there are specific numbers in there, there are long, short, medium as prompts, but there are also things like longest book, shortest book. And I actually got the longest book on my TBR um, and then I had to take a break from filming to figure out what the longest book on my TBR was. And that is uh, A Short History of Nearly Everything by Bill Bryson. I think it is no longer the longest book on my TBR. However, because I've since bought books since I filmed that video. However, I'm going to stick with this for my reading purposes. Um, but um, I haven't read it yet, so I'm probably going to fail my first ever TBR game. Um, but what I thought I would do is go through my TBR with you and I'm going to stick a post-it note in front of each one and uh, about the length of it and how um, long it is and I'm going to sort them into categories and then afterwards I'll like write down in my notes like what's the longest book at this point, shortest book and then like a couple from each category so I have like idea or like take a picture of the categories um, so that I don't have to spend as long rifling through my shelves. There aren't a lot of books on my TBR shelves at the moment. Let me just count. At the moment, I have technically 34 books on my TBR, but I'm about 50 pages from the end of the Poppy War, so I'm not going to count that. So 33 books on my TBR. However, do not be fooled if you haven't seen my video about how I'm sorting my TBR this year. This is just the TBR that books that I have not read. Some of them are rereads, but I'm including them in my TBR in this house. So if you aren't aware, I've been staying with my boyfriend and his family during the pandemic and the bulk of my books are at home. So I probably have triple this at home, but uh, every so often I'll swap them out or I will, I'll probably end up unhauling a lot of the books that are at home. The videos come in a couple of weeks um, because um, I don't need them all and I've proved that some of them I'm just not interested in anymore. However, uh, these are the books that I have on my TBR and this is what I'm counting as my TBR just for this year and just for this like, period of time. Uh, so I have 33 books on my TBR which is actually extremely low, extremely low um, and some of them are even rereads, uh, I think only two of them, one of them. One book on here is actually a reread but I've included it on my TBR because um, that's what it is. Um, I also have included it in my count, but not. I will not be looking at the number of pages, are um, my three graphic novels that I have here. These will all be rereads because I have no unread graphic, physic graphic, physical graphic novels. And that's I Hate Fairyland Volume 1 and Snot Girl Volume 1 and 2. Um, the reason I'm not going to count these is because these will always be the shortest book on my, on my TBR every time. And I don't, I bet they're just going to count as separate. Um, Obviously, for readathons and pumps and such, that's a bit different, or like in a last ditch attempt. But in terms of page numbers, they refer to my physical non graphic TBR. And there's only three of them anyway, so. And I didn't want to read that, like, I didn't want them to be used up too quickly. So they're going to go separately, but they do count um, in the count, so that's why I've brought them over. Now, the way I'm just going to. I've been talking. Far too long, like literally four minutes already. I'm just going to work through. I'm not going to tell you any of the plot of any of the books uh, because why? Where, where's there going to be time for that? But I am going to start my TBR for this month because let me tell you why I'm doing that. And that is because uh, I don't think I'm going to finish my TBR this month, so some of them may roll over. Fantastic. Um, so let's have a look at this. First of all, what I might do is I might do like a bulk of them and then just read them up to you. Just editing this, you can zoom through this bit. my t 
TBR we have The Long Way to Small Angry Planet and that has 404 pages. Uh, Angel Mage by Garth Nix has 488 pages. Um, and Bill Bryson, uh, Short History of Nearly Everything has 667 pages. And they are on my Blige TBR and that's quite a lot of pages there for the, I think they're the month of this. For the 25th of the month. So I've got to read all that before the end of the month. I also did say that this month I wanted to read Percy Jackson, which is 375 pages. Not going to happen. Definitely not going to happen. Oh, and I have to read Rhapsodic, but that's an ebook, so that doesn't count. So those are the initial batch. And then for, just quickly, the rest of my Becky Chambers books. We've got To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. To Be Taught If Fortunate. By Becky Chambers, it's only 147 pages, but this is a standalone. And then the other ones in the Wayfarer series, I'm not sure which way around they are. Um, a closed and common orbit is 365 pages, and record of spaceborne view, which is 356 pages. So these are gonna go into the piles. I'm now thinking, is this the most boring video ever? But I'm here, I'm doing it. <laughs> Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell, which is 372 pages, and American Marriage, uh, which is 306, um, Knife Edge by Mallory Blackman, 479, How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemison, 397, Shadow Sen um, by P.M. Freestone, which is 434, uh, City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, which is 526, the other Bennett sister by Janice Hadlow is 511 pages. Uh, 232 pages for The Secret Guest by B.W. Black. Um, 326 pages by Toby Faber. Closer to the Edge by Toby Faber. And then Homegoing by Yar Jesse is 300 pages exactly. So I'm going to put these in their respective piles and some of my TBR is quite hefty, but I'm mostly the way through it now. It should be quite a quick video for you. Then we have It's Not About the Burqa, ed edited by Mariam Khan, which is to 232 pages, Undreamed Shores, Five Women Who Sought the World by Francis Larson, which is 332 pages. We have A User's Guide to Make Believe by Jane Alexander, and that one has 350 pages. Um, the Glass Hotel by Emily St. John Mandel, which has 303 pages. Um, a Song of Wraith and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown has 466 pages. And A Museum of Wells You Will Never See by Kendra A. Green. So if I look a little bit different, it's because uh, my boyfriend came in accidentally knocked over all my film and set up. It's precarious, but it's annoying. And I think I was speaking about um, The Museum of Wells You Will Never See, and that's got 246 pages. Um, and... The Rearranged Life of Una Lockhart by Marguerite Montemore has 358 pages. Um, so I'm just going to sort those out into their piles. by Robin Hobb which is one of my new purchases um, The Ghost Road by Pat Barker uh, which is 277 pages Docile by K.M. Sparks 
Spara. Sorry, I'm, that pronunciation is terrible, which is 492 pages. And then we have Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood, which has 462 pages. We have uh, Tidelands by Philippa Gregory, which has 438 pages. And The Interest, How the British Establishment Resisted the Abolition of Slavery by Michael Taylor. And that's got 362 pages in. So um, let me just run you through from longest to shortest. So um, the biggest pile, which the smallest pile, well, in the top end of the books with 500 pages, we just have these... Uh, the books with 600 plus pages are these two just here um and then books 500 to 600 are books between 500 and 600 pages are just these three here and then we have this category we have the category of books which are 400 500 pages and there are here and then by far the biggest pile is the 300 to 400 page pile and this pile is very messy look just managed to get all of them in there um, then we're back to the short piles the 200 to 300 pile page books are these ones just here so there's four in that category and then there's just one 100 to 200 page book now this might seem a bit of a random video for you but it's almost like a little reference guide for my tbr mash video which um my tbr mash game which uh there's going to be a few sort of like guides to it there so like um so almost like when the prompts come up i don't have to think about them so much i've already got them listed um because i now will categorize these into notes and that will be good hopefully um yeah sorry the video has been a little bit all over the place it's meant to be a quick one i've been filming for quite a while but i think that's primarily because um I just had to write all the notes down for the books and yeah I would have there's lots of things I would have done differently now I've done it but I've done it now and here we are thank you so much for watching this video and if you'd like to chat to me in the comments I'll speak to you later bye however I am a little bit scared so most brutal fantasy series are what's that what's that book, what's that book called the poppy world I have this real mistrust of like dying characters. I just finished the Poppy War and... Ah!